What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. Today, we're not breaking any boxes, because as you can see, we got a nice big stack of 20 cards that just came back from PSA, so we're gonna do the full reveal of all these 20 cards. This submission was done really, really quickly. It actually finished about three weeks ago, um, and I waited to get it shipped back to me because uh, I do all my group submissions through PC Sports Cards, and I also consign a lot of ca cards, uh, card sales through them and I used those consignment credits uh, from selling cards to pay for the submissions. I had just shipped them a bunch of cards um, and they hadn't been listed or sold yet when this sub was complete, so I waited until those consignment cards had sold and, and the funds came through. Uh, that way I didn't have to put any money out of, out of pocket to pay for this sub. So that's why it's a little later than normal, but as usual, um, below here in the description of the video and in a pinned comment, I'm gonna add the link for the preview video for this submission so it's always fun to go back and check and see if i could guess uh you know, how good i was at guessing the grades before these came back in the background you'll see some of my favorite cards from the last psa submission not too long ago a couple of really nice psa nines alonzo morning flare showcase row zero legacy from 97 number to 100 and this ginobili essential credentials from fleer ex 2006 number to just 45 i believe that is 45 or 46 45 yeah, there we go. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay, before we get to the uh, PSA submission, there's actually a one card BGS submission that also came back with this PSA sub. I did a short of this video yesterday, but if you didn't catch the short, I wanted to add it to this video here too, just in case um, uh, you missed that. Uh, 96 Kobe Holloview SP rookie from Upper Deck. Um, this was in a, let's see if we can get Kobe to smile. There we go. Nice big smile from Kobe there. This was in an SGC 8.5 holder when I bought it. Got it pretty cheap, um, SGC 8.5s. I don't think there's like a very big premium on those. So basically I got it for, I think cheaper than sometimes these sell for uh, raw. Um, I cracked it out of the SGC case, not a big fan of SGC holders. Tried to send it to PSA. They came back and said it was miscut. And so <laughs> I said, you know what? My last chance is BGS. So I'll give them a try and see how we do. So with my little uh, crappy homemade holder here uh, or spacer that I'm using to block the grade, this one got a BGS 8.5. So we got a nice match to our SGC grade. So SGC and BGS agreed on this one. PSA for some reason thinks it's miscut, uh, but SGC and BGS disagree. We got a subgrade, centering 9.5, edges 8.5, corners eight, surface nine. Pretty much exactly what I probably would have graded it. Honestly, I think that's pretty accurate um, to what it is. There's definitely some white around some of the corners and some white on some of the edges. So fair grade, very happy with it. BGS 8.5, I'll put that over here for now and then we'll get into our PSA stack. 20 cards. First card is Caitlin Clark from Bowman U. Pulled a couple of these base cards when I opened this Bowman U box. Um, one was really off center. This one was just a tad bit off center. You can see it's a little uh, right heavy, a little thick over there compared to the left. But I thought it was still good enough to get a 10, so let's go. All right, good start, PSA 10. Just a base, but uh, Caitlin Clark's cards still sell pretty well. Probably at least like a $50 card, something like that, in a PSA 10. Next one, we got Jaden Ivey from Prism Monopoly. This was numbered to 124. Still by far the best card I've ever pulled out of Prism Monopoly. This was an orange. It looked pretty good when I sent it in. There was a little bit of an issue at the top edge here. It's gonna be, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Probably not. Um, centering was a little bit off as well. Um, but overall, I thought it looked pretty good. Hoping for a 10. Ah, dang, nine on this one. All right. First nine out of the way. Let's hope that we don't get too many more nines after that one. Some more Prism Monopoly. These are just some base, I think. Paolo. Yep, just a base. Let's see if we can get a 10. If we get a nine, it probably won't even be worth it to grade. Okay, there we go. At least we got a PSA 10 on this one. Probably would have been a lot more valuable a couple months ago. I think uh, it might only be like a 30 or $35 card now at this point. Chet, same thing. Prism Monopoly base can we get another 10 okay at least we got another 10 again not a super valuable card but at least we got that one in a 10. got some more prism these are uh not monopoly cards these are regular prism cards j-dub rookie cracked ice this one looked 
great to me. Centering may be a little bit off, maybe a little bit uh, left heavy now that I look at it, but hopefully still good enough to get a 10. Oh no, nine. Not sure what I missed on that one. Me, I guess the centering. I don't know. I feel like I've seen worse centered prism cards get 10, so I'm not sure what happened on that one. Okay, next one. Another prism. This is Curry. This is another ice. I think I pulled this from the same blaster that I pulled the uh, the J Dub rookie. This one looked really good as well. So hopefully a 10. Oh come on, <laughs> another nine. PSA didn't like my prism. Uh, Ice cards so far, I guess. All right, come on, let's break out of this streak of nines. Ty Ty Washington, silver. Um, uh, if, this, if this doesn't get a 10, definitely not worth, even if I need a 10, this may have not been worth grading. I saw a silver rookie and it looked good, so I figured why not grade it. Uh, let's see how I did on this one. Oh, come on, another nine. What the heck did I miss on this? I don't know. Man. Prism cards looked all looked. I mean, back centering is off a little bit, but they typically are not going to give you a nine for the back centering be a little bit off. But that stinks. Okay, not off to a great start. All right, let's see if we can turn it around with some optic stuff. Chet Holmgren, optic, and it's also you can see the prism down there. This is a my house purple. Um, probably would not grade this if it was a base, but I figured a purple, um, and it looked good enough to get a 10. So let's see how we did on this one. There we go. Back in the 10 category. Oh man, we only had, that's, that just evened out. We have four nines and four tens. So hopefully we can get some more tens to even out these stacks. Jaden Ivy. This one is in my house. I think a purple as well. So I thought this one looked pretty good. Can we get a 10 on the Jaden Ivy in my house? There we go. All right. And this is what I like to see. More tens. Oh, almost threw them across the room there. All right, another Jaden Ivy. This one I think was just a hollow, not a purple. Yep, so this one, you can see the difference between the uh, purple hollow and the base. So the base hollow is just shiny all around. The purple one obviously has, obviously has some purple in it, just like the Chet. Can we get a 10 on this one as well? All right, there we go. Another PSA 10, love it. Not super valuable cards, but definitely worth grading if, uh, if they get tens. All right, here we go. This one I'm I'm really curious about. Send a couple of these optic hyper pinks in. This is Jalen Williams. Centering confuses everybody on these cards. It looks left heavy, skinny on the right, but if you look at the bottom where the nameplate is, it looks that part looks pretty much even to that part. That's what I'm going with. Hopefully it was good enough to get a 10. Oh man, another nine. Definitely getting more nines in this sub than we did in the last one, unfortunately. All right, I don't know what that means for this next card now because we also got another Hyper Pink Chet Holmgren. Pulled this out of the same box that I pulled the uh, Jalen Williams out of. Centering looks, I don't know, what do you guys think? Left to right centering looks pretty much the same to me on both of these. So I don't know about that Chet. Hope we, we don't get another nine here. Let's go, come on, let's get a 10. There we go. See, so I don't know why this one got a 10 and this one got a 9. Unless there's something else other than the centering that I missed on the Jalen Williams. Honestly, sometimes I feel like they just, if they see a bunch of st a stacks of cards and they honestly just give some 9s and some 10s. Because uh, some of these 9s in here, I have no idea why they got 9s. All right, Darius Garland, numbered 19 out of 25. This is Optic Pink from 2021. This was one of my last uh, 2021 cellos that I still had sitting around and actually pulled a pink number to 25 out of it and it looks good to me. So hopefully we can get a 10 on the Darius Garland. There we go. Gem Mint 10. Again, just a, you know, not a rookie or anything like that, but short print of 25 Garland. There's gotta be somebody out there who probably wants that in a PSA 10. Jalen Green, courtside. This is I think they actually mislabeled this. This says blue prism, but this is just the retail blue. I think I thought the retail blue just said blue because this is not shiny. It's not a prism card. This might be mislabeled. Um, so just a base retail, but again, court sides, even the base ones are still kind of hard to hit sometimes. And Jalen Green, one of the top rookies, figured he was worth grading. Let's see if we can get a 10 on this bad boy. Yeah, there we go. All right. I like to see the PSA 10 stack getting bigger than the 
PSA 9 stack. I guess really it was only five nines, not, not that bad, but we still got more to go. Macau Bridges. Pulled this out. Of, I bought a, a stack of a dozen of these status fat packs trying to hit a Luca rookie. Pulled zero Luca rookies. Big goose egg. But fortunately, I did get some nice looking aqua parallels. I already got a Shea Gildas Alexander aqua that I graded and it came back a PSA 10. So if this one comes up back a 10 as well, it'll probably make those fat packs worth it even without pulling a Luca. Let's see if we got on the bridges. All right, there we go. Another PSA 10 on the aqua parallel. Very cool. Throw that in a 10 stack. All right, 10 stack. Definitely getting bigger than the nine stack now. Here's a big one. A big one for me anyway. <laughs> Denny, rookie auto from select, number 25. So you guys know that means it is a tie-dye. So bought this raw on eBay for like, I don't know, 30, 35 bucks, something like that. And it looked really good to me. And I actually checked the pop reports and this a lot of the, this card seemed to grade really well. There was a lot of 10s. Um, out there for this card, even though it's only numbered to 25. Uh, this one hopefully is joining those now. Let's see. There we go. Another 10. I didn't grade the auto just because, uh, I mean, there's no streaks or anything, but sometimes when there's like a dot up here, even though I, I know that's like the dot over the eye, it's part of a signature, I'm worried. I don't know how PSA is going to grade things like that sometimes. So I just didn't bother uh, grading the auto. I was more concerned about the card. So very cool that we got a PSA 10 to look, go very nicely next to my uh, Denny courtside tie-dye jersey numbered rookie nine of 25. That's also a PSA 10. Okay, now the rest of this stuff, I'm not sure if we're gonna get 10s on these. <laughs> Seems some of some other cards, I wasn't really expecting 10s. Um, this one, we got a white sparkle. So very, very rare card, print run estimated around 20. For each of these, centering was way off. You can see it's a lot thicker on the top than it is on the bottom, very skinny on the bottom. And a little bit of a corner issue down here on the bottom left. So definitely not expecting a 10, maybe a nine, but chances are probably eight with the bad corner and the, uh, the bad centering, but let's see. Okay, there we go. PSA 8 didn't really, wasn't too concerned about the grade on this one. Just a really cool looking, very rare Prism rookie card. The white sparkle looks really nice with the, the white uh, uniform on this one too. PSA 8, I'm, I'm okay with that. I guess I'll throw the 8 on top of the uh, 8.5 Kobe over here. Another Denny rookie. This was another rare one, Electric Etch White Pulsar. So kind of going along with the rewards uh, themed cards here. Um, I should have checked the pop reports before I sent this in. This card looked really good, um, but they do not grade very well. It's kind of a thicker card. And you can even see they put this in like the thicker, the thicker PSA case. You can see it's got, I don't know if it's, if it's really uh, zooming in that well on this, but thicker slab, not a lot of tens out there for any obsidian card. And I think, I don't think there were any graded of this white pulsar uh, when I sent it in. So eh, maybe a 10 if I'm lucky, but most likely probably a nine. Yep, that's what I thought, nine. Probably should have just kept this one raw and put it in the binder with my other obsidian rookies, but I thought maybe had a chance at a 10. It would have been cool to be the pop one PSA 10. Now it's a pop one uh, PSA nine. So throw that in the nine stack. Last two cards, definitely not getting tens on either of these. Uh, more, I'm just slabbing these for protection. Numbered at a 50, Manu Ginobili, Bowman Chrome, Gold Refractor. One of my favorite Ginobili Gold Refractors. The gold just pops on this really well. Um, again, not going to get a 10. Centering on the front is off left to right. On the back, a little bit of kind of very minor corner issues. Again, with the black border on this card, it's any little white is gonna show up a lot. Another little bit of white in the top corner there that you might be able to see. Hopefully a nine, but ugh, I don't know. Probably more like an eight. Let's see what we got on this one. 8.5. This is my first ever PSA half grade. I've never gotten an 8.5 or a 7.5 or a 6.5 or anything like that. Interesting. I wonder why this got an 8.5 and not a nine. Wow, okay, there we go. 8.5, I mean, I guess I'll put it up here with the eight. 
Um, okay. <laughs> and last card, one of my favorite Kobe uh, rookie inserts. Pretty rare card. These were not easy to hit out of Ultra. I forget what the pack odds were. Something like 1 in 96 or 1 in 188 or something. It's, it's very rare to hit one of these. This is the blank front. So it says blank front here. It was a misprint. I think about half the cards were printed correctly. The other half were blank like this. It should say Ultra Rising Stars with his name. And it should have the Fleer Ultra logo up here in the corner. But this was the misprint that doesn't have that. Um, I kind of, when I bought this, I was deciding, do I buy the regular one or do I buy the blank front? I like the blank front better. It kind of looks more just like a piece of art. It's hard to tell now that it's slabbed, but this card does have like a that, you can kind of see the texture here. It's got that canvas sort of texture like that modern Court Kings cards have. So it really does look like a piece of art to me, honestly. And other than maybe a tiny bit of white down here, I don't know, might also be part of the card with the gray and the white all around. But surface looked great, corners looked great on the front. Really just the centering is a little bit off. You can see it's it's kind of pushed up in that corner a little bit, right heavy and bottom heavy. If I can get a nine on this, that would be awesome, but probably more likely gonna be an eight. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Mint nine, that's awesome. I bought this raw on eBay for 80 bucks, 90 bucks. It was less than $100. And I think the last PSA nine that sold was like, almost 400 or something like that. And even the last one that sold was, was an old label. And the old labels tend to not sell as high as the newer labels. Um, just because a lot of people, you know, have made assumptions that they've tightened up their grading standards recently. So some of the old labels in the same grade might not command uh, same price as a newer label. But wow, that's, yeah, just went from like a, under 100 bucks to like over 400 on that grade alone right there. So very cool. Very happy to have that. So eh, the nine stack is a little higher than I wanted it to be. Um, really the only ones that I was really bummed about. That one I uh, thought should have got a 10. All these prism cards, I don't know what happened on all these. I thought they all had great shots at getting a 10, but sometimes those PSA graders just like to give you nines, but we still got a very nice, healthy 10 stack here. Lots of cool parallels, rare cards, numbered stuff, all kinds of cool stuff in the 10 stack. That's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all on the next one.